All right, guys, so welcome to another Q&A session. So today I will be answering a question asked by multiple people around the same topic of how can I talk to my loved ones while I am out at sea? So be going over with you several things here coming up. Get right into it. Number one, the most frequently asked question is, can I use my cell phone and does the ship have Wi-Fi? In terms of using your cell phone, that is a big no-no. The reason being, it's a operational security. So to give you an example, one of the most common thing that happens, and there are many different variations and instances of this. Sailor gets this phone signal, calls their parents or their brother or their sister. Hey, you know, I'm in Florida doing A, B, C, and D, right? And what happens is, the family member goes on Facebook and says, Hey, I'm so proud of my son. He's in Florida right now helping Puerto Rico do this, this, and this. Right? So that right there was two big no-nos. Number one, you gave away the location of the ship, its whereabouts. It's number two, you gave away what the ship is actually doing. Right? So instances, instances like that happen over and over again. Even if like taking a picture and posting it up on Instagram, the picture on Instagram has a location of where you are at. People use that in multiple different ways, right? That give away operational security. So depending on the ship, uh, cell phone usage is a big fat no-no. Now in terms of Wi-Fi, there, depending on the ship, right? My ship does have Wi-Fi, but it's only for official uses. So if you do want to communicate with your family members, right, they do have pay phones in the ship. Now pay phone, it is extremely, extremely expensive. To make a call, right, the attempt of making a call is 70 cents. So whether it goes through or not, whether you talk to your family member or not, it's 70 cents. And after that, every minute spent is a dollar. So it gets extremely expensive to talk to your uh, loved ones over the phone. But that is still a way. Another way to talk to your loved ones over the phone is within the ship. There are certain divisions that do have access to what's called an outside line. It's a normal phone that they use within the ship. However, after pressing some special numbers, it can call outside to a normal phone, for example, your family member. This is typically for official use only, the phone. However, if the division is feeling generous, right, it's, it's allowing people to call their loved ones, they may be able to let you do that. So it's kind of important to make make, uh, make sure you're friends with everybody and you have connections everywhere because uh, this is not something that's readily available for everybody. Now, another form of communication that's more practical that you should take advantage of on a daily basis is by email, right? When you are in a ship, you are able to send out email because you are given a military email. So that's the the easiest thing that you can do every single day that you'll have an access to a computer at least you know five ten minutes a day get on the phone uh, get on the computer look up your email uh, your family member will send you email and you reply just like a normal email usage uh, so that's the most effective and easiest way to talk to your family uh, when you are out at sea now the old traditional way of communicating is by physical mail right now you can write physical mail give it to the ls's that work in postal and they'll send it and they'll also receive the reply uh which takes a little bit of a long time but it's still you know nonetheless a a possible way you can communicate and also uh if you do if your parents want to send you a care package uh, that is also a way and I have seen that done uh, while out at sea, you know, the parents sent, you know, clothes, uh, food, Kit Kats and all that kind of stuff. But sometimes you have to be mindful of that. You don't want kind of a infestation to happen when you are in the ship and you send food. So you have to be careful with, you know, sending food. But in general, make sure the packaging is good to go. So I hope that helped. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a great Navy day.